Magandang buhay! Welcome back to Virtual Class. So we are in Science 4, Quarter 4, Week 6. And our topic is about the changes in the position and length of shadows in the surroundings as the position of the sun changes. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe the changes in the position and length of shadows in the surroundings as the position of the sun changes. Okay, let's have first a short review. What are the safety precautions during sunny days and rainy days? Draw your answers. Okay, in the first picture, what should the boy do in order to protect himself for too much heat of the sun? In the second picture, what should the girl do to protect herself from the rain? So draw your answers. Umbrellas can be used both during a sunny day and a rainy day. During rainy or cold days, you can wear a jacket or a sweater which make or which can make you feel warmer. You can also wear a hat, sunglasses, and protective clothing to protect yourself from too much heat from the sun. Now let's play a game. This game is called Minute to Win It. Within one minute, try to arrange the jumbled letter to form a new words related to sun. Are you ready? Good luck! Number one. What word can you form? Very good. The word is sun. Number two, we have the L, I, H, K, and T. And the answer is light. Correct. Number three, we have S, N, U, I, L, G, H, and T. And the word is sunlight. Good job. Number four, we have Z-O-N-I-R-O-H. And the correct answer is horizon. Very good. And number five, we have H-A-D-S-O-N-W. We can form the word shadow. Good job! So shadow is the dark area that appears when the path of rays of light is blocked by an opaque objects. Thus, shadows are formed when light strikes on opaque objects. So look at this illustration. So we have the tree, the sun with the sunlight or the rays of light, and uh, the shadow of the tree. So shadows are places where light is blocked. So, yung sunlight or yung rays of sunlight uh, was blocked by a tree. The outcome is the shadow of a tree. When there is no light, there is no shadow. As light travels in a straight line, then it is blocked with an object. There is a formation of shadows. So, the object does not let the light pass through it. So, shadow is formed when light traveling to a source is blocked. So, in our illustration, the tree blocked the rays of the sun, which caused the formation of the shadow. The position of the sun on daytime in relation to the earth changes. Thus, the direction of the rays of the sun also changes, so shadows change in position. As the sun rises in the morning or sets in the afternoon, it is slow on the horizon. It's light rays slanted as they hit the ground. Thus, longer shadows are formed every morning or when the sun rises and the sun sets. When the sun is high or nearly above the horizon, the sunlight strikes the ground at nearly the right angle. Thus, shorter shadows are formed. So observe this illustration. By the way, horizon is the line where the earth seems to meet the sky. 
So when the sun is directly above the horizon, the light rays of the sun strike directly above. Hence, no visible uh, shadow is seen on the ground since the shadow of the entire body would fit in its footprints. And longer shadows are formed during morning and afternoon. Because as the sun rises in the morning or sets in the afternoon, it is low on the horizon. It's light rays slanted as they hit the ground. So longer shadow is formed during morning and evening or afternoon. Therefore, the changes in the position and the length of shadows in the surroundings depend on the angle at which the sunlight strikes the object in the ground. Why are the shadows formed during the morning and afternoon longer? Shadows during the morning and afternoon are longer because the position of the sun is low on the horizon and light rays are slanted. That's why we have longer shadow during morning and afternoon. How does the position of the sun affect the shadow formation on Earth? Because the sun's position on the horizon determines the shadows that will be formed. Now let's try to answer our exercise 1. So write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Are you ready? Let's get started! Number 1. The sun rises in the afternoon and sets in the morning. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is false. So sun rises in the morning and sets in the afternoon. Number 2. When the sun is directly above the skyline, the light rays of the sun strikes directly. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is true. Number 3. We see all the things around us because of the light from the sun. Is it true or false? Of course, the answer is true. Number 4. When the sun rises, the longer shadows are formed. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is true. So, every morning when the sun rises, longer shadows are formed. Number 5. When the sun sets in the afternoon, shorter shadow is formed. True or false? And the correct answer is false. Same when the sun rises, longer shadow is formed. Number six, the sun's heat and light does not reach the earth. True or false? And the correct answer is false. Number seven, almost all living things rely on the steady heat and light of the sun. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is true. Number 8. Sun is made up of very cold gases. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is false. Number 9. When the light rays cannot pass through an object, there is a formation of shadow. Is it true or false? And the answer is true. Number 10. The length and the position of shadow will not change as the sun change its position. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is false. So the sun's position affects the shadow formation. Wow! Congratulations for a job well done! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe Teacher Reg channel. Bye!